Mystery Secret Searchers, episode 49, Dangerous Rhymes in Drowned Lands. My journal pages are too dangerous, so I must hide all evidence of the heirlooms and its protection. Winter comes, where shall I go? Well, winter has come. And where shall John McLeod go? It seems that the mystery of the cursed sword of the clan McLeod has drained John McLeod. He has had the burden of this curse for so long that he doesn't know really what to do now. He is going to go out to a part of Glengarry called the Drowned Lands. Here, he is going to hide the cursed sword he hopes once and for all now the drowned lands is a part of glengarry it's a very large part of western sorry eastern glengarry uh, farmers fields are now there but back in the 1800s this area was really barren land it was very swampy it was close to the saint lawrence river and the farmers had a terrible time growing any crops here. It wasn't until much later in the early 1900s when actually the Dutch came to Glengarry. The Dutch had much better drainage techniques and they were able to drain the land much better and turn it into what is now some of the most highly productive farm land in Glengarry. But it is a big expanse of land right now and in the winter it is rather dreary and cold and miserable here and this is where John McLeod came he came with the journal he came with the sword perhaps he came with the shield perhaps and he marched down way out in the distance there to the St. Lawrence River he found an icy path in and he disposed of these heirlooms. He refers to them as heirlooms, not just one heirloom, but many heirlooms. We followed the same route of John McLeod through the Glengarry drowned lands to the St. Lawrence River. We found an ice flow. We traveled out on the ice flow. We drilled many fishing, ice fishing type holes into the ice. And out in the St. Lawrence River, we disposed of the journal and the sword and the shield and the pistol just like John McLeod may have done. Now you may remember, we do believe someone else was on the trail of these items. Maybe 50 years ago, maybe 100 years ago. The coins that we found in the strong box indicate that someone else maybe have, had found the journal and had read its contents and was searching for the cursed sword. Or maybe, they didn't want the cursed sword. They weren't interested in the sword. Maybe they were searching for the Fairfield gold of Caribou Cameron. This is something that we're going to explore in our next series of videos. The Mystery Secret Searchers have some clues about the Fairfield gold. We also have clues from a second journal that we have discovered. We are really interested in exploring these clues. But in order to do so, and to make our videos, we really need your support. We need you to like and share our videos. We need you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have more information. We were fascinated by the discoveries that we found in John McLeod's journal. This led us on an exploration of mysteries and adventures all through Glengarry. And there still are mysteries yet unsolved. 
We need your support. We need your help. Please subscribe. Please share this with your friends and have them subscribe. If we can get to the point where we have over a thousand subscribers, we're going to be in really good shape to continue to produce videos, more Chronicles of Curiosities, the Glengarry area, and other areas. We had a wonderful time finding the McLeod information, finding the museum, finding the whole fast symbol, finding all the evidence relating to John McLeod and his military history. The journal is not complete yet. There are other clues that we want to follow. We need your support. Please support Mystery Secret Searchers by like, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube channel so we may continue on making these videos. To end episode 49, I will just show you the trail we took down the ice flow into the St. Lawrence River and the ice fishing holes that we augured, that we drilled into the ice to dispose of the items. We hope you've enjoyed Mystery Secret Searchers. We have one more episode in this series, episode 50, where we will wrap things up and tell you about some evidence that we found that makes us believe that someone else was on the hunt for gold in Glengarry. Bye for now. 